Um, so I did a 3,000 kilometer trip, uh, almost three and a half thousand kilometers, and it took um, took a week. It took a week to eight days in an old freight liner, uh, Turbo Cubbins diesel engine truck, Allison transmission. Kind of, sort of been maintained. Kind of, sort of hadn't moved in five years. You know, we <coughs> we had to fly four hours to get there and then drive for another two hours to get to where to look at the truck, pick up the truck. Had to bring cash to buy it. Not a check, no bank transfer, none of that stuff. Had to be cash. You know, so, you know, we're <laughs> basically, well, we're still inside Canada, so we're flying with, you know, tens of thousands of dollars cash uh, strapped to our body. And, um, but we're inside Canada. We're not, it's not like we're leaving the country. And, um, you know, get there, examine said truck, crawl underneath it, check this, check that. Um, had to go get, you can't, it's not like we're going to pack this stuff as carry-on luggage, right? We had to go buy a 20-ton um, hydraulic jack, which is just going to be like a, you know, proper 20-ton freaking little blue bottle jack. You know, jack up the front end check the linkages, check whether, you know, just exactly how much shake, how much are we dealing with with the tie rod ends, because, we, you know, it'd be really nice to be able to steer it down the road, um, make phone calls to various different freight liner places, as well as Turbo Cummins Diesel, Cummins Diesel service places, to figure out, okay, who, who can we go to in the first 500 kilometers, because if this thing bursts into flames in the first 500 kilometers, we're gonna have to deal with it because this is, you know, being sold as is. Good luck, you know. Um, anyway, the first 500 to the first thousand kilometers were not really a struggle. More likely, uh, how are we doing? What's temperatures? What are we doing for fluids? What are we losing? Let's stop. Let's look underneath. Let's crawl around. Let's find out what's breaking. What's not breaking? What's leaking or not? You know, it was it was a hell of a trip. It was a hell of a trip for seven or eight days because we're old. And then my uh, uh, my friend will, you know, he's not going to, I refuse, I'm not going to take cash or anything. I'm not going to, I just I won't do that. He, he came to me and he said, here, he goes, you like a good scotch? He says, here, have some Macallan 15, right? A bottle of Macallan 15. And all I could think was, okay, yes, thank you, right on. And, uh, you know, it's right out of a frickin' James Bond movie is what this stuff is, this Macallan 15. It's, you know, the finest scotch in the world. There's arguments for and against, but in any case... So what I did was, I went and I fetched, I don't have like a, a whiskey glass shot glass, I'm going to use like a, you know, proper glass. But in there, I've got one ice cube, and I have right there, that's an 18 karat gold uh, whiskey cube, or frozen chunk of metal. It's not solid 18 karat gold, it's probably stainless steel and then it's plated with 18 karat gold. Whatever the case may be is it's building up a layer of frost on it in a flash. And let's see. How do I open this in a dignified way? Looks like I need the Swiss Army knife. Alright, so Swiss Army knife. It should be a cork. Um right there. Oh, you know what? Looks like it's ready to go anyway. You just need to like cut the the seal label, the Canadian seal label, and that's it. It's done. It's yeah. yeah that's a cork. McAllen, uh, McAllen 15. All right. Um, 
smells like Macallan, otherwise known as Awesome. Let me just put in a couple, just a little bit, not much. Glug, 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 glug. Whoa! That's a good, you know, that's a good pour right there. Just put that away. Alrighty then. Now, it should start changing color because of the ice cube. If it's a Macallan 15 or an 18 or, excuse me, a 25, if you're, you know, a multi-bazillionaire and you can afford Macallan 25, right, then it'll start changing color because of the, the ice cube. It should start going smoky. Before I get into that, though, Slaja, cheers. Oh my. <laughs> oh. This stuff is good. This is without a doubt like the finest scotch in the world. It's just... That just lights up the taste buds. All the way up the nose is as smooth as silk. This stuff right here, it's beginning to turn kind of smoky. It's beginning to change color. Just slowly, it's beginning to go a little bit smoky there. This is Chauvet's Theron in a glass. Amazing. Mmm. Oh, that's, yeah. That's good, that's awesome. Oh, Macallan 15, accept no substitutes. It's incredible. And I know there's a Macallan 18 and 25 still out there on the 1824 series, which is pretty much only available, I think, from collectors for large amounts of money. But this is fantastic. This is... Yeah, it's turning kind of... Kind of getting a little smoky in there. A little smoky. I think the ice cube is a good decision, but that's personal taste. There's arguments for and against. There may in fact be somebody Scottish who's willing to crawl through the internet and punch me in the head for putting in an ice cube. One ice cube. I'm not going to let it melt too much. It's not going to melt too much. Oh my god, that stuff's good. Oh, get some. Get some. <laughs> it's freaking amazing. All right. All right, let's get back to uh, playing silly games on KDE. I think I was playing. There it is. Good old K Sakabon and KDE help about. And this is good old KDE from a whole lot of years ago. And you just can't get it anymore. It's like a really exceptional scotch. You're in the against camp, you're in the don't do it. Tell you what, depending on how this glass the scotch goes, next one, just put in the whiskey cube and be happy and leave it alone. Oh, this stuff's beautiful. Oh, worth every nickel. 
Thank you, sir. <laughs> McAllen, 15. This is the good stuff. Be sure to get some.